All right, I'm going to go over why atheists uh, hate and despise the separation of church and the state. Because much like Islam, atheists want to have a theocracy of state-enforced atheism. They want basically uh, atheism enforced by the state, no religious freedom, no freedom of speech. Because I did a video going over some comments in the video where atheists were just proving the fact that they're communists and that they despise the separation of church and state. So it's kind of funny how some atheists will champion themselves, oh yeah, we're separation of church and state. In reality, atheists, they despise the separation of church and state because the separation of church and state actually protects the religious freedom and stops what these atheists want to do, which is use the state to infringe on freedom and liberty. And what these atheists, uh, hypocrites, don't realize is that over in communist countries like China and North Korea, they have state enforced atheism and they don't have separation of church and state. They have the state now controls the religious institutions. That's not the separation of church and state. That's state enforced atheism. And that's what the, a lot of these atheists want. They don't want separation of church and state. They want state enforced atheism. And they prove that just reading some of their comments. And uh, it just proven the fact that atheism is a threat to freedom, liberty, freedom of speech, freedom of expression, liberty of conscience, and the separation of church and state. Because the separation of church and state is, in fact, a biblical concept, and it does protect religious freedom as well as freedom from religion. And that's another thing, too. Atheists seem to also forget and not understand that uh, freedom from religion and state-enforced atheism are two different things. And uh, communism in the 20th century was a, a uh, corrupt offspring from atheism, and that's why all the communist dictators were militant atheists and used the state to enforce atheism. That's the bottom line. Atheists, they hate and despise the separation of church and state. And state militant radical atheism is a danger to the separation of church and state and basic freedoms and liberties. And I'm a former atheist, so you know I know how ridiculous and foolish and idiotic and unlogical and, oh, sorry, illogical, sorry, and, uh, you know, just... This foolish atheism is. The Bible says in Psalms 14, 1, verses 1 to 3. Sorry, Psalms 14, verses 1 to 3. Sorry about that. And Psalms 53, verses 1 to 3, uh, perfectly describes the atheist communist and mentions the fact that only a fool believes there is no God. But that's just the bottom line. Atheism is a danger and a threat to the separation of church and state. And, you know, most atheists... Any real atheist would despise the separation of church and state because it goes against their, their their Roman Catholic mentality of wanting to enforce their ideology by the state. And uh, atheism, it's just funny how atheism is so much in common with Islam, Roman Catholicism, and Hinduism, and other uh, violent, barbaric uh, death cults. So uh, stay tuned to more stuff exposing the sci-fi death cult of atheism and exposing the fact that Atheists, they don't believe in freedom. They don't believe in liberty. Uh, they basically have an Islamic, Catholic, Hindu mentality of use the state to enforce our beliefs and get rid of the separation of church and state. So, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.